Hey there, everybody. It's your man, Joe Mock 2694 and I am here with the Shadow of War gameplay trailer that I completely forgot came out a couple of days ago. I was informed by Delta that it had come out, and I need to do a video on it, because I'm still excited for the game, despite its $300 collector's edition. So I've got the most Mordor-ish sword I own, got my Ring of Power, Talion has the new one, which apparently is blue, that's cool, but uh, yeah, we're gonna watch this, uh, we're gonna watch this 16 minute trailer, this 16 minute gameplay trailer, and see how it works. So, starting from zero seconds, in three, two, one. Whoa. Was he just riding a drake? Okay. Drakes versus Graugs, that's awesome. Middle Earth, Shadow of War. Shadow of War is an epic third person open world action RPG. And so, like the first one. Award winning Shadow of Mordor. This yep. walkthrough takes place many hours into the game, where we okay. will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary Nemesis system. What's that glowing thing? To save Middle Earth, we the city will be of stars. To enemy lines, and using the new ring of power to forge an army and conquer more. Bubel Bloodstorm. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a Ubuk, the accursed. With unique enemies That's a lot of war chiefs for that area. Lords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions. These masters are back. Today, we're going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur Hakon. You're an ugly dragon motherfucker. Lord. Dragon Lord, huh? Let's launch the assault. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Saragost Terror Fortress, level 192. That's pretty high up there for game levels. Okay, Italian looking a bit like the Dark Hand. He has Calibre more back, which is nice. And the world that make the Nemesis system unique. That it's dude's big. Followers. followers. Rog Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. Nice. Molisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. Woohoo! Followers at our side. We, we got Hulk. Space, the storm we got a Hulk. Tell you wouldn't do that. I was reborn with the power of the Dark Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part Your of our army before he betrayed us and joined you the backstabbing bitch. He also carries a dark curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, what? The flames of they they can reckoning. they can cancel out the ring? Cool sword. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. No more pop. Ring, ring, I like that guy. That's a big force. Charge! Oh man, what happened to the sword? What happened to Orfell? Orfell looked awesome. Our first objective will be to break through the main gate. Okay, so real talk. Okay, so we still got we still got Celebrimbor's bow, which is nice. Oh damn! A lot of our guys are already ow. A lot of our guys are already on fire. Real talk. This is looking awesome. But okay, so the destroyer is already trying to batter down the the hatch, which is awesome. What happened to Italian sword? This thing was friggin' awesome and elvish. What happened to it? Okay, so the orc AIs. Ooh, shadow strikes. Nice. Head chopping's back. I like it. The uh, metal dag, the elvish dagger. Ooh, yep, that's still in. Like that execution. Ooh, he just grabbed the sword. Is the power of the dark 
Italian looks weird. He looks like the black hand a little bit. Okay, so, um... I'm not seeing, like, a combo meter, but that's probably gonna be in there if it's still the, uh... Come to me. God, that's creepy. Throw him off the edge. That's a good way to kill him. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Caliper was hammer used for executions. With the Stormbringer defeated, I love it. the curse and can unleash our power as the Demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. Charge! Oh! Oh God! Oh God! Oh my God! Good Lord! Good bright lord. Ooh, aerial arrow shooting. Nice. Oh, and you don't need arrows to spark up fires anymore? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can... Ooh, he's using Elven Wrath. That's definitely got to be like the power of the ring. Damn. Damn. Just straight up executions. Like, he slices one guy, and then he friggin' shoots him in the face on the way down. That's awesome. Yes, I heard somebody shot in the tree. Okay, so obviously they've got, like, Talion on impossible power because, you know, he's not getting hurt and his, uh, focus isn't going down. There are many ways to conquer a fort, from open combat to stealth and infiltration. Ooh! Ooh! So while Talion takes care of one, Calibrimbor gets the other. Perfect! I like it! Multiple executions. And pulling somebody to you instead of you going to them. Very nice. Spy within the enemy ranks. Dead Eye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank. Spies and sabotage, I like it. This is awesome. A lot more in-depth to the uh preparation and actual war fighting. Wall breached. Sweet. Good night. Oh, you're still alive! Well, I mean, that was a thing in the first game. Yes. Ow! ...is also able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. In Shadow wow. of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal, rivalry, and even friendship. Friendship with Uruks? Gotcha. <laughs> oh, God, right through the head. Thanks, Deadeye. Yeah, thanks, Deadeye. Good shot. Oh, hey! Expanded the oh, a legendary! Systems in Shadow of War enormously. Defeating armor allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Rohan armor. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to this because this... Okay, I I'm pausing for a minute. Just to give my thoughts so far, because we haven't... We don't have any more ads. This is looking freaking amazing. Like, no joke, freaking amazing. I need, as soon as this trailer is over, I'm going to come back to this part and take an in-depth look at this uh, character sheet because it. I think my assumption might have been correct that you get different weapons and armor. So maybe we can upgrade, maybe, hopefully, we can upgrade Urafel back to its original glory. You know, the glory that is the Elven Reforge from Shadow of Mordor. It also looks like Ascar, or not Ascar, um, Arkarn, that's it, Arkarn. Arkarn, the dagger Arkarn. It also looks like it's back to its uh, original broken hilt style, but, uh, I mean, that is kind of personal to Talion, considering that it was the broken blade of his son. Anyway, uh, taking a look at Talion real fast here, he definitely looks a lot more like the black hand. His face looks a lot more sallow. He looks more realistic, a lot less cartoonish. I don't know if I like that or not, but 
whatever. The Uruks have also undergone a design, especially that Dragon Lord dude. Who the hell keeps texting me? So, just taking a look at this. You know what? Since I'm here, I might as well. Let's rewind this a couple of seconds. I'm back at uh, 733. Common. So, level 47. No mythic. So, I guess there's like an extra level above legendary now. So, he's got level 40 ranger armor. Replace with Roham armor, max health 495. Upgrade, so Miriam is back. Gear drops one level higher from exploited enemies. 89 health recovery after a successful lance chance and poison immunity. So these things carry their own uh, special abilities as opposed to slotting runes into them. I did like the rune system though. Hopefully it lets you change attributes. So let's see, at the top there, there's... Sword, dagger, bow, armor, what looks like a hood, and a ring. So, And then there's a locked symbol underneath all of them. So what that says to me is that you can upgrade all these armor and weapon up things, but then they also, just like how in the first game, you when you, you could unlock a, a, a ability to do unlimited executions, unlimited ground executions, and unlimited flame arrow shots with each particular weapon. So too, it looks like the same thing here. You can unlock some kind of special thing that's probably gonna be, you know, unlimited executions, unlimited dagger executions, and unlimited flame arrows, and then like perfect immunity to everything for a couple of seconds. And then of course, something to do with this new ring, which I can't see on Talion's hand, probably because it's in his sword hand. This is looking really cool though. Okay, going from 740 in three, two, one. So, the armor changes too. That's actually a nice touch. Okay, so... B. Who are you? Huh? They actually reference each other? Okay, I'm getting Italian vibe and I do not like it. Uh-oh. Run! 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 No! No, not Hulk! Not Hulk, no! Oh, Demolisher, no! Mounting armored cavalry. Allows us to ride through these a spear? Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. Armored cavalry. Boom! A drake! Well, I guess this guy is a dragon tamer. Shadow Mountain! You can ride drakes! And dominating the drake lets us turn the overlord's defenses against- 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! You can ride fucking dragons and wreck shit. Okay. All right. Boom! Oh my god, that was like an attack crowd, and he just murdered it. Oh, you you ain't stopping this. Oh man, I hope you get some aerial battles with the Nazgul. Since the Nazgul were in the original trailer, I really hope you get into aerial battles with them. That'd be friggin' awesome. Oh no! No! Dragon! Dragon versus Growl! Ooh, he smacked it! Ooh, it latched on- Boom! Okay, they're both dead. And Tiny's down here. Shadow Strike! Ooh, you're afraid. Flame of war. Now bend him to your will. Possession is still a thing. I like it. Power allows us wait, to wait. The minds of our enemies. Hold on, hold on. What was that? What do we got? Shame, reduce level. So you can actually take him down in power level now. Fight to the death or recruit. So if there's somebody that's pissed you off and you really want to have a one-on-one -on -one duel with them, you can do that. If there's somebody that's a little too strong and you want to take them on at a lower level, you can shame them. Cool. 
ring of power and, and recruit them. Dominate the minds of our enemies. That was creepy. Telling them to join our growing army. Now recruit. The power of the new ring. Shun. Stay and fight or retreat. Yes. So you can. You can recruit them and then make them stay and fight as opposed to tally and throwing them and they vanish. Thank you. So you can tell them to run. You can shun them. I don't know what purpose that serves. Or you can tell them to stay and fight. That's awesome. Okay. Starting from 1027 in 3, 2, 1. Power of the new ring and the help of our followers. We've defeated the war chiefs. So each little outpost that, are they eating that guy? I don't know, it looked like they were eating that guy. <laughs> this guy's like, I don't give a fuck. This guy's the Havel of uh of the game. Yeah, he ain't even flinching. We can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort. The Dragon Lord himself. Dragon Lord. It's time to take what is ours. With the nemesis Love you, Caliburn Moore. Every overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world, and the throne room itself has been customized by the Overlord as his personal combat arena. So every player will have something different. It's the Lord of Mordor himself, the Grave Your face. You've made a right mess, haven't you? My army slain, my drake dead, so much pain. Well, I know a thing or two about pain. And yours, it's going to burn a hole into this world. I'm getting a vibe of Captain Flint, and I do not like that! Captain Flint was my least favorite Borderlands boss. So, executions. Video game boss rule number 32. You cannot fight the good guy yourself. You must have your minions help you because you're a giant pussy. Oof, these executions are gnarly. Yeah, I was about to say, why isn't he burning the floor? <laughs> Looks like it's more of a detriment to your own guys. Oh, so you can take off arms now, too, for executions. Sweet. And he throws his own guys, so like the Berserker, or like the giant Titan dudes from uh, Arkham Asylum. Ow! Of course, that didn't hurt Talion at all. This might I like your pseudo army accent. Ooh, sweet! Randuk Iron Mount can go through the fire and the flames he carries on. Go, Karagor! Go! No! Karagor! You bastard! Stiff! Oh! His leg! Oh my god, his arm! Step through the head! Still alive somehow, like the big dude from John Wick 2. Oh! With the Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. I hope you get runes and weapons from that crap. That's sweet. Loot, new followers, and resources. It also Sauron was down there. Base from which we train our forces, increase our power, and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. Sweet. Let's return to the army screen, where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new overlord, so he can spread his influence throughout the region, creating an entirely original nemesis fortress. Nice. This war chief is a necromancer. He will shroud the fort in sorcery to confuse and terrify attackers. Nice. This war chief is a beast master. I like the designs. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Ragdug, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the Dragon Lord. 
As a marauder, he can loot and pillage. Nice regions. armor. And then your war chiefs get promoted to be defenders. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. And she said Sauron's counterattacks, which makes me think. The Nemesis system means that every element of this mission was dynamic and unique. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his power! This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique Lord in Middle-earth Shadow of War. And there's Sauron in his blinky little eye. God, this world is huge! Sauron. And the Bright Lord. For the Bright Lord. For the Bright Lord. Pre-order today, get the four orc champions and the epic sword of dominion. That was orgasmic how awesome that was. That was fucking amazing. So, first off, the graphic upgrade looks awesome. The orcs look awesome. Talion, I'm a little on the fence about, but the armor, the weapon design, the world itself. Oh my god, that was so good. What she was saying about the stories of each thing. No two players have the same playthrough. That's a big claim to make, but if they could actually make that work, that would be fucking amazing. So far, the best personal story I've seen from the Shadow of Mordor game was Tear of Grace's epic bouts with both Crook Blood Axe and Prak Jaws. Those were two of the best stories I've seen coming out of the Nemesis system. But the fact that that one Flamey Axe guy referenced the fact that Talion killed Stormbringer and he said, I wanted to kill him, so now I'm gonna fight you. The fact that they reference each other like that by name is freaking sweet. And then when he gets to the, when he gets to the Dragon Lord himself and he says, my Drake is dead. So if you left the Drake alive, would he mention that, that he still has his Drake? Oh my God. Okay. So that's what I'm most excited about with this is the fact that it's possible if they make it that every aspect of those missions are dynamic, that the war chiefs will all reference each other, that the, that the overlord will reference what you've done really personalize it to what you've done, how you kill people. That would be one of the best games I've ever played. I think I'm going to go pre go out and pre-order it because that sword looks pretty cool. That's what I'm in it for is these bad boys. I want the best possible weapons ever. And it looks like that game is willing to accommodate. So I'm probably going to pre-order it. Until next time, this has been your man, Jomok2694, saying... See ya, and for the bright lord! Ah! Oh yeah, please give us more on Calibrimbor's backstory, because if you're going to be willing to put his, uh, if you're going to be willing to put his hammer into executions like you just did, please give us more backstory on him, because Calibrimbor is one of the most important characters in Middle-earth, and he's friggin' awesome. Thank you.